I don't know about you, but when I go on a long run, um, something that's north of an hour or even 45 minutes, I prefer listening to audiobooks instead of music. Music gets repetitive. I just don't like listening to music for hours at a time. So I enjoy listening to audiobooks. And one of the few things that my Garmin watch cannot do is easily sync with Audible. Um, it has Spotify, it has Amazon Music, so you could pull in all the music you want. You could even pull in podcasts from Spotify, but if you have an Audible subscription, you have tons of great books you want to listen to, um, there's no easy way to sync. But I can show you a step-by-step -step guide that will get all the Audible books you want on your watch, and you can listen to those stories as you run. Let's hop in. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dave and this is Dave Does and today we're going to be loading some Audible books onto uh, my Garmin watch. So I guess we could start off. We will uh, hook the Garmin watch up to the old computer. So let's go ahead and get that done. Hooked up. It'll pop up in a second. Um, this is a solution for Windows. If you have a Mac, well, Sorry, this guide isn't for you. Um, it'll take a second. This takes a little bit of setting up, a little bit of patience. Nothing about it is difficult, though. You can follow these steps, and you'll have your Audible books on your watch in no time. So let's go ahead and hop right in. So if we go and we'll check out um, the first piece of software. Oh, there's the watch popping up. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to, well, we'll minimize that for now. We don't need it. We're gonna go and get this Book Lib Connect software. Now, I looked around, so the issue is that you can't just download your Audible books, right? Audible has copyright protection, whatever. Um, and obviously, if you're using this guide, this is to make um, duplications of the books you already legally own. This is not anything about um, uh, getting books in any other manner. So this software will allow you to connect into your Audible account, just your Audible account, and get your books in a readable format that can get loaded onto the watch. So we're going to go ahead and download this software here. I already have it installed, but once you install it, and you can see this is um, it's on GitHub. If you don't know about GitHub, this is free and open source software. So that means the code for this is posted. It's not some super sketchy program. Um, there are a lot of super sketchy programs if you try and search for download audiobooks or um, download Audible account or whatever, anything like that. There's, I mean, maybe there's some that are legit. They're all paid, whatever. This is free. It's open source. Uh, we're going with this. Book Lib Connect. So download that. Get that installed. Uh, so let's see here. If we go here. There we go. Let's open that up. And we are initializing our database. It'll do that at first, and that's fine. Um, that's what you want it to do. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go profiles. It already shows my profile here. We're going to go ahead and add a new one. And it's going to say there already is one. Um, so we want to select our region, right? United States, create login. And it says right here, because I already made a profile, it's saying, hey, you already have a profile. You know, if you're going to do that, it's going to overwrite what you have. That's fine. Um, we'll go through the process. We'll overwrite it, whatever. And you see it generates this giant, crazy code. Um, we want to click the button that says copy that. Now, pay attention to this part here. Successful login shows a page like this with misleading text. Looking for something or sorry, whatever address enter is not functioning page go to Amazon homepage when it says that it's not an error that's what you want okay so we're gonna go ahead and make a new tab let's paste and go um, okay look there's our page so perfect now what we want to do we want to copy that link we're going to go to Booklib, see copy paste URL from the page into the text box below. Paste. New profile created. Account, that's my account. Device, um, it named it a device because I already had something else called that, but that's fine. Second audible for iPhone. Free previous device should be deregistered, whatever. Again, you wouldn't see this because I already had an account. I'm basically like, setting up another one um, for your benefit here. 
profile created. There's me. There we go. And we'll say you selected profile. Okay. Now we're going to go click our download button. And it's going to take a second. You might cut and come back once this loads up. It's going to load in all of the audiobooks that you have on your account. Went a lot quicker than I thought. Maybe no cuts are needed. Um, and I've got just a, an absolute ton. And you can see purchase dates are going back years and years and years. <laughs> um, so let's see, which one were we going to select? I've been listening to Dragon Blood Omnibus. It's kind of a, a goofy, uh, there it is, sci-fi sort of thing I don't know it was on slick deals it was a buck and I was like yeah let's go for it. three part series for a buck um, okay so we're gonna say add selected I, I don't know if it'll let me because it's already here let's let's see one book three parts okay there we go um, so just like that we're gonna go in part three I don't know if I have it maybe I don't have this one yet we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click run now okay so we want, we're clicking the third one here. We're exporting it. I might have exported all of them over. That's fine. doesn't matter. Um, we want export as .aax. That's the file type you want to do. Select the right export folder. You can see it's right here. This PC Music Audible. That's just where mine went to. Let's go ahead. Um, we'll open that up. Let's see. Let's go Music Audible export boom okay so now we have all of these here so we have one two three for the dragon blood books right so that's what we're looking to do so we're going to get these we're going to convert them into a chapter at mp3s and then we're going to load them on the watch so let's hit that next okay so now we downloaded our aax files we exported them all right, so here's our AAX files. Now we need to convert those into MP3s with chapters. Um, so we're going to go, it's actually the same exact author, this Audiomus, um, you know, this individual or group of people is pretty awesome because they have both the Booklib Connect and then the audio converter. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to download that, and you can see you just scroll on down. You can download right there. Um, we'll skip ahead. I already have this downloaded. So we're going to open up the app. That oh, gives a little startup tip. Uh, read those. I'm sure they're helpful. <laughs> Pretty sure I got this figured out. But um, So we want to go MP3 format, multiple files by chapter. Okay, that's going to be our output, and here's just you know where it's saving to. Let's go add, and you can see. Um, well, let's go and do our audible export right there's our, our third one. So we'll say open that. Here we go, part three. It shows that shows the year is done, bit rate, all that sort of stuff. All right, multiple files by chapter, MP3. Convert, um, and we could, whatever, we're just overriding it. I already had it exported, but that's fine. Um, you can see, I mean, it, it takes a second, so I guess we'll cut and hop into the end result, but this is what it's going to do. It's going to pull out um, all the information so that you're going to have chapters here. So we're going to hop into that in just a second. Okay, we are done, as you can see here. Um, all done, one file converted, and well, it took about two minutes just about for, I think it's like maybe an eight hour long book, something like that, so, um, and my computer ain't exactly new, so I'm sure if you have a newer, more powerful computer, or, um, oh, actually, here we go, duration, ten and a half hours, ah, this one's longer than the others, um, so there we go, about two minutes, and you could see the output was D Music Audiobooks, okay, so let's go ahead, and we can go here because that's what we we're using before. Let's get the music, audiobooks. Go in here. Now we've got our part three. 
You can see date modified, we just did that. I'm just gonna open those up in just a second. There we go. Okay, so we have all of our chapters here. So now we're gonna go ahead, open up our epics. I've got an epic, so my watch is plugged in, up into the storage. Oh, look at that. There's a folder called audiobooks, and that is there by default. You don't have to make it, you don't have to change anything about the system. Um, hey, there is Dragon Blood. Hey, there is the book. There's part two. So we have finished part two, so to delete this, check that out. We're just gonna hit delete. Easy enough. And now, we'll go up to here. We'll say copy. We'll say paste. And that is it. We have done it. So, I mean, you could see once you actually get these files set up and you kind of learn to navigate the program, um, it's really pretty simple, right? You're going to do that login um, with Audible. You're going to put that in. It's going to make an account for you. Um, if it does ask for an activation, um, there was, it, it says it in, in the README somewhere, but you could hit any numbers. It doesn't matter. You don't actually need to activate if you're using that dummy code. Okay, so just so you know, if you bump into that issue, you could hit any numbers and it's fine. Make sure you do export as AAX. Then you go, you use the AAX converter, you grab the files, export them as MP3s with chapters, and you literally drag them over. And let's go ahead, we're gonna hop in, we'll um, end the screen record and take a look at the Garmin watch, and you can see that our Audible books are there and ready to be played. Okay, so we're looking at the watch now, and excuse any shaking, I was looking for my tripod and my son was helping me yesterday and don't know where it ended up. Anyways, I have music um, hot keyed for a long press in bottom left. Let's go here. Music libraries. We're going to scroll down. Audiobooks. Select that. There's our book. Book three. Select and there we go. We are playing our audiobook. Okay, I actually turned on my headphones just because it has to connect to actually start playing, so I got a little distracted trying to turn it off. There we go. Audible books on your Garmin watch. Enjoy the run. So there we have it guys, pretty simple. It's a few steps, but once you get everything set up, you get that software set up, and the next time you wanna pull in a book, it takes almost no time. Um, they take up a bit of space, so if you don't have a lot of space on your watch, like mine, I don't have the higher end model, so the space is limited. I load a book at a time, so I listen to a book at a time, but you could do whatever works for you, as long as you have a Garmin watch that supports music, then it will support audiobooks as well. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you'd be so kind to subscribe, you wanna hang out and watch some more videos, I'll have a lot more content coming for you real soon. I'll of course have all the links that we utilized today in the description down below. I'm Dave, this is Dave Does. Have a great day, guys.